Josh and Charlie, this video is really for you. Anyway, everybody, we're in sunny South Wales on another day of isolation. Josh and Charlie, uh, two young men, challenged me to do some tricks for the camera. Now, one of them asked me to do a tail whip, and I can't do a tail whip. Even if I could, I wouldn't be able to do a tail whip on this bike because it's got cables, so the handlebars simply will not turn all the way around. Um, another request was a wheelie, and that's one of my party tricks, so I thought, why not do a few old-fashioned car park tricks? Let's get into it. And this one's called a stoppy. Almost went over the bars that time. Okay, so I just did a stoppy, and that's when you're using your front brake to pick up the back wheel and roll on the front wheel. BMXs calls it, call it a nose manual, um, or mountain bikers who can do it without a brake call it a nose manual, but if you're using the brake to slow down and that's picking up your back wheel, that's a stoppy. I'm gonna do an endo now, and that means you're coming to complete stop and you pick up the back wheel, but the front wheel does not roll. Let's give it a go. thing with the 180 endo is you do that spin and you've still got loads of momentum going backwards so why not turn that into 360? Okay, next one is the bunny hop. So I'm gonna do two iterations of it. There's a conventional bunny hop, um, which we call the American bunny hop, which is front wheel first. And I'm gonna show you the difference between an English bunny hop, Irish bunny hop, and American bunny hop later. Um, and I'm also gonna do a 180 bunny hop while moving, which will symbolize that 180 endo that I was just doing. That's a conventional bunny hop. I'm going to show you now a 180 bunny hop into rollback. And now what we've all been waiting for, an English bunny hop, an American bunny hop, and an Irish bunny hop. Now English bunny hop is where both wheels go up at the same time. American, front wheel first, then back wheel, then Irish, I'll show you. English. American. Irish. Right, this next trick is called the cardigan. Yeah, like something you'd wear. I don't know why it's called that. Uh, it took me a long time searching to find out what it was called because three years ago, check on my YouTube channel and you'll see that I tried doing it and successfully managed to. Um, I think I filmed myself for my first ever attempt right through to succession, which was, I don't know, seven or eight goes. Never done it on a full suspension bike. I'm gonna give it a go on my pivot now. Um, and to describe what it is, the bike is on the ground like this. You come into the bike, step onto it, and then enough weight on the pedal should start to pick up the bike. And you use your foot to help with the saddle and you collect the handlebars. It's important that I don't do this and reach down to pull up. That's not what happens. It's your body weight making 
the bike come up and you can see it's a little bit difficult so let's give it a go now this is my first go in three years whenever that video is published that's the last time i tried it so <laughs> not a bad first go make sure that pedal's level I'm gonna call that a day now. Um, not even on my bike, I just sprained my ankle. Not badly, just a little twist. Uh, but it's kind of made me think, you know what, the tricks I've been doing so far have been really easy and well within my ability level. But I was just about to show you some other things that are a bit more complex and a little bit more challenging. And you shouldn't really be pushing your boundaries in these times. Just in case you really hurt yourself and you need the NHS, they don't need us right now. So thanks for watching, tune in again.